Did you know that the Stegosaurus was basically a walking Swiss army knife? Most people think of the Stegosaurus as a gentle giant, a huge herbivore with small arms and a big butt. But its most famous feature has got to be its spiky tail. At first, they thought it was just a giant lizard with a big butt. But as more fossils were found, they started to piece together what this dinosaur's tail was really all about. And they gave it a name, too. They called it a thagomizer, which sounds like something you'd use to smooth out your thagomite. And no, those spikes weren't just for show. They were deadly weapons that could easily dispatch a hungry predator in seconds. The only problem is that those same predators would often eat the fossils of the stegosaurus, making those weapons disappear over time. So we have very few complete skeletons of the stegosaurus. In fact, when paleontologists found the first Stegosaurus fossil in 1877, they didn't even realize that it had a tail. But why did they give it that name? Well, back in the 1980s, there was a comic called The Far Side by Gary Larson. And one day he drew a caveman holding up a T-Rex bone and saying, and we don't want another mass extinction event, do we? Thanks for watching. Now this end is called The Thagomizer. It's a real bone saw named after the late Thag Simmons, inventor at Heartthrob. And just like that, the Thagomizer became official. Caveman lingo for a spiky dinosaur tail. And paleontologists loved it so much that they named the Stegosaurus tail after it. So now we can say that the Stegosaurus had a tail as long as a T-Rex leg bone. But with a cute name like Thagomizer, it almost makes you want to pet it. But please don't try this at home because while the Stegosaurus may be extinct, there are still plenty of living animals with sharp tails that would be happy to meet you. Okay, maybe don't feed the dinosaurs. No, don't feed them. Okay.